Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I have a quick tip for you for manifesting mastery. It's very quick and easy. Um, I believe it is a Neville Goddard technique. In my opinion, all the techniques are really pointing to one particular thing that you have to do to be successful at manifesting. So I'll jump into what that is in this video. Before I do, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you. And also know that I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. I can help you manifest anything you desire. There's a link for my sessions below, as well as links to my manifesting courses below. So what is this quick and easy tip? Very quick, very easy, really the whole point. <laughs> or it's just like, it's just what to do. If you wanna manifest, you just gotta do this. And so this is called Feel It Real. This, the title of the video is Feel It Real. Feel it real. What does this mean? This means that what you feel as real <laughs> in yourself, in your own being, in your body, in your mind, emotions, what you feel as real inside of yourself, in your imagination, is what you create out there. It's like, it's that simple. So, we can, here's what's a little challenging about it. We can feel a lot of things as real. And I think a lot of people spend uh, too much time, a lot of time in feeling like your desire isn't here. If you're feeling like your desire isn't here, that's what you're creating. My desire isn't here. My manifestation isn't here. My relationship isn't here. The money isn't here. Everything I want isn't here. If, if you're spending a lot of time in feeling like something isn't here, that's feeling it real too, feeling like it's really not here. <laughs> so, so anything you feel as real is what will be manifested out there. And it's really that simple. So how do we feel that our desire is real right now? It's all about being attuned to your inner world. So for me, I close my eyes, I go within. You'll see me always doing motions like this because I'm making contact with my infinite nature, my true self, the, the aspect of me that really can feel that all possibilities are on the table for me, that like everything is possible in this inner realm, which is my infinite nature. So in my infinite nature, I can feel that I am in my dream relationship if that's what I'm manifesting. I can feel that I'm living in my dream location if that's what I'm manifesting. I can feel myself going on vacation to the place I wanna go. I'm already there. I'm already in the relationship. I already have the money. I already have it all. <laughs> and when we feel it real within ourselves and we're consistently in the experience that it's already real, the desire that we want, so there's no lack. It's like, oh, it's already here. There's no, the desire, they can say, the, um, some people can talk about it as your desire dissolves, your um, depending on how, you, how you're using the word desire. If desire to you means a lacking feeling or a wanting feeling, when you feel it real, that wanting or the lacking or the craving or the grasping goes away because it's already here. And we don't grasp for things that are already here. It's like it's already here. So yeah, I'm being, I feel like I'm being a little cheeky in this video, but essentially the whole point is all you gotta do is feel it real. You just got to feel it real and you just got to consistently feel that your desire is real. And that's what's going to create it in your reality. One more thing I want to say about this is you don't have to be thinking about your desire every minute of the day. In fact, you know, if you're kind of obsessing about your desire and obsessing that you need to feel it real all the time, there's some fear there that you're like doing a technique and you might be doing it wrong. You don't have to feel it all the time. My, what I, the advice I give my clients is that when that desire pops into your awareness, you just gotta at that moment feel that it, it is real. 
Now, certain desires we're gonna be thinking about a lot, in particular if you're manifesting a relationship or if you're manifesting a specific person. Those types of um, topics tend to be on our mind a lot. And so anytime it pops into your awareness, you feel it real right now, that's it. And then you go about your day and then if it pops into your awareness again, oh, yep, it's already real. It's here. And then the other thing you can do is spend time every day cultivating the feeling of it being real, cultivating the inner conversations that it is real. And this is it. This is how we manifest. Simple, right? Thank you so much for being with me in this video. Please leave a comment below telling us of your manifesting successes, what you do to feel it's re feel that it's real. Yeah, anything you want to share, I'd love to hear from you. Also like and share this video if you do like it and I will see you soon.